Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Gary Hibner, a YouTube guitarist here from South Africa. And in this video, we're going to take a look at STL Tone's Tonality Lassa Limerick plugin. So this amp suite comes with three amp models. You've got an emulation of the Driftwood Purple Nightmare. Then there's also a diesel style emulation, probably a VH4 because Lasse does use a lot of VH4s. And then you've got a hot rodded version of a legendary 100 watt British amp model. And it seems like it's probably a hot rodded version of a Marshall JCM 800 because he does have these in his collection. Then from the stomp box section, you've got an EQ, then you've got a sort of enhancer pedal and then a boost pedal. Then there's a selection of different amp cabs and then after that you've got an effects section where you've got a post EQ, a reverb and a delay. So let me give you a quick playthrough where I go through these different amp models. I've got different parts and then on each part it switches to a different amp. So you'll get an idea of what it sounds like in a full mix and then after the video I'll go into more detail on what settings and what amps I used. For this playthrough I'm using my custom Dudecraft B62. It's a baritone with a 27.7 inch scale length and it's tuned to drop A sharp. So there you go, that's what it sounds like within a full mix with other instruments. On the first part I use the diesel style amp, then next is the driftwood, the clean is using the driftwood as well, and then the final one is using the JCM 800 modded version. Now let's hear the parts in isolation and the settings that I used. So in this first part you can see that I'm using the Frank Dieter which is the diesel emulation, I'm using channel 2 and then I've also enabled the mid cut and I've tweaked some of the settings over here. On the stomp box section in the front, I'm not using anything except for the boost. And then for the cabinet section, here I'm using the Cali Rect, which is like a Mesa Rectifier speaker cab, using a 57. And then on the other side, it's using a Riven 1 to 1. Then for the next part, I'm using the Driftwood with the high gain setting, also using the boost on the end here. And then on the cab section, I'm using the Kelly V30 using a Dynamic 57. And then on the other side, I'm using a Kelly V30 with a 421. For the cleans, I'm using the clean channel on the driftwood. Here are the parameters that I've got set up. On the stomp box side, I've adjusted things with the EQ. And then for the cabinets, I'm using the Cali V30 with the 57, then the Cali V30 with the 121. And on the effects, I've got an EQ, a post EQ, some delay, and some reverb. And then on the last section, I'm using this mean machine, which is the modded JCM 800 with these settings over here. In the front, I've just got the boost. And then for the cabinets, I'm using the Kelly V30 again with a 57. And then on the other side, the Kelly V30 with a 201. <laughs> So that should give you an idea of what it sounds like in isolation as well. There's no other processing in my DAW, that's just the effects and the amps in the plugin. So what did you think of the plugin? 
let me know in the comments below. There's really a lot of tones that you can get from these three amp models and it really works well for some high gain and if you want some sort of ambient clean tones you can definitely get that with the driftwood as well. So if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and share it around. Also if you're new to the channel or if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on that notification bell to be notified of future videos. I'll check you in the next one.